Recently, the old Ben Franklin Five and Dime in downtown Boonville was getting a temporary makeover. It was all part of preparations for Boonville's 150th birthday bash, and it was also part of an effort by city leaders to revitalize downtown. Like many smaller cities, Boonville's downtown has experienced a downturn in recent years. As a whole, as a city grows, it begins to expand. Uh, someone opens a business in a particular area, it attracts more people, then it's just a shift in buying patterns. People become more mobile and they look uh, for newer things and uh, kind of got to keep up with the times and sometimes your older downtowns fail to do that. Not all businesses have fled. Marshall Dickerson runs the furniture store his dad opened 66 years ago in this spot in downtown Boonville. Well, you know, the downtown area is what's unique about each of the communities in northeast Mississippi. Uh, the strips with the uh, um, fast food restaurants and things pretty much look the same, but the historical part downtown, there's more interest in, in developing this area. Lifelong resident and attorney Tommy Cadle is helping lead the campaign to resurrect the downtown area. He is passionate about the effort because he remembers how things once were not that long ago. In 1961, Saturdays in this town was just shoulder to shoulder. There were people that came in from the rural communities, not, not just this county, but other counties. Uh, this, there were store retail stores all up and down all the streets. They were all open. Everybody was doing business. The banks were lending money. Uh, there were cars everywhere. It was not just a shopping event, but it was a social event. Civic leaders here say things are getting back on track in downtown and the recent 150th birthday celebration focused more attention on this area. Officials are hoping that with help from state development agencies, a little patience and effective marketing, downtown will be an economic hub once again. In Boonville, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.